Hi, welcome to today's Vin Yin Flow. For today's practice, you are going to want two blocks or a thick sturdy book, shoe box works just fine, a bolster or a pillow from your bed, and a blanket. The blocks and bolster can start up towards the top of your mat and then I am seated on the blanket if you want to just give yourself a little extra cushion here. Starting in an easy seat, so it's whichever leg you prefer in front, hands can rest on your knees, crown of the head reaches towards the sky. You might soften or close your eyes here. Slide your hands down your thighs a bit so your upper arm is in line with your side body. Just a gentle squeeze between the shoulder blades. And starting here with some neck rolls. First, lean your right ear over towards your right shoulder, creating a little stretch along the left side of the neck. And then slowly rolling your head forward, looking down, and then left ear to left shoulder. Give yourself a few times here, just rocking back and forth, noticing any spots where it feels a little, almost sticky might be the word, or a little clunky. You can spend a little extra time there. Moving at a pace that feels good for you. Pausing when you've completed your next round. Gaze down towards your lap. Inhale, draw your neck back towards neutral. Then few shoulder rolls here. Shoulders slide up your, up your back and then down your back. Shoulders scrunch up towards your ears and then down your back. Gently opening the chest. One more round wherever you are. And then pausing with shoulders away from your ears. Can gently bring your hands forward on your knees, bringing in some cat cows from this seated position. I like to use my hands here as an anchor. Inhale to squeeze your shoulder blades, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round your spine, sinking back. Inhale for cow, pull forward. Exhale, cat, rocking back, chin towards chest. Give yourself a few more rounds here following your pace of breath. And when you've completed your next round, taking your time, you can make your way towards a tabletop position. Rolling over your wrists, rolling over your ankles, wrists under shoulders, knees under your hips. Starting here in a neutral tabletop. And then first, inhale, sweep your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, bring right arm under left, right ear towards the mat, thread the needle. Creating a little space here. Give yourself a full round of breath. Next, inhale, opening back up, right arm towards the sky, right hand plants to the mat. Other side, inhale, left arm sweeps towards the sky. Exhale, left hand comes under your shoulder here. Left ear towards the mat, maybe left cheek rests on the mat. Full round of breath. Using your next inhale, open up towards the left once more. Hand plants back to the mat. And then extend your right leg long behind you. Swing your right leg perpendicular off the mat. Right foot plants, tuck your left toes, sink back for half child's, half planter stretch. If left toes tucked is too intense, you can always lift your hips or untuck your toes, whatever feels best for you. Next round of breath, rocking forward, return to your tabletop shape. Then extend left leg long behind you. Swing it out perpendicular, plant it off the mat. Tuck your right toes this time, sinking back half child's, half planters. Again, checking in with the sole of your foot if it's too intense. Untuck your toes or lift your hips just a bit out of this shape. Full breath here. Rock forward to a tabletop position once more. From tabletop, you'll take your blocks towards 
the top of your mat at probably their medium setting. And then extend your right leg long behind you, flex your right toes, engage your glute. Right foot steps between your hands, setting up for low lunge, sliding those blocks to frame the foot. Hands plant into blocks, back toes can be tucked or untucked. Inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Take your right hand, grabbing your left wrist, gently lean towards the right, creating space along your side body, keeping your glutes engaged here in that lunge position. One more breath here. Hands release, fingertips towards the sky and then back to the mat. Sink back for half splits. Hips sink back towards your heels sliding your blocks along the side of your body, finding a height that feels good for you, allows you to keep a long spine here. Heart pulls towards your toes. Full breath here. Then plant left hand into block, right arm opens towards the sky. Bit of a half splits, half twist, funky variation. Right hand back to the block, rocking forward, Return to that tabletop position. Other side, left leg extends long behind you. Pause here, engage the glute, flex your toes. Then place your left foot between your hands. Starting again, blocks gently frame that foot. And then sweep your arms up towards the sky, low lunge. Again, back toes tucked or untucked, yogi preference. Take your left hand grabbing your right wrist, gentle side stretch over towards the left. Again, you might feel some extra space between the ribs on the right side of the body. Imagining you can breathe into that. Next breath, release that grip, fingertips towards the sky, hands back to the blocks, then sink back for your half splits. Again, sliding those blocks with you, I prefer the medium setting, but you can always adjust the height setting to help you find heart towards your toes, long spine, breathe here. Plant right hand into that block, left arm sweeps towards the sky, half splits, half twists, breathe here. Left hand back to the block, can rock forward, sliding those blocks off your mat for a moment and back to tabletop position. From tabletop, walk your hands forward about a handprint, tuck your toes, lift your hips for down dog. Great time to slide that blanket out from under you, keeping it somewhere nearby. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. You can add a back bend here if you want it. Exhale, fold all the way through, hinge at the hips. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands. Step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank, puff up the back of your heart. Exhale, all the way to the mat. Untuck your toes, hands back by hips. Inhale, squeeze for locus. Exhale, back to the mat. Inhale, press up to your plank, toes or knees. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Few rounds of breath here. You're welcome to take a little time here to pedal out your down dog, maybe bending one knee and then the other, shifting your hips side to side. Or if stillness feels good, allow yourself to hang right there. Using your next inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold, hang heavy. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, root through your feet, reach to the sky. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching up once more. Exhale, fold all the way through. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. 
Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale for cobra or up dog, tops of feet to the mat. Exhale, meet back in downward facing dog. Breathe here, giving yourself a few rounds of breath. Again, maybe movement or stillness. Focusing on a nice long spine. Hips towards the sky, bringing any amount of bend to the knees that you need to to keep your spine long. Next inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana, reach for the sky, which makes me think of Toy Story. Draw your hands back to heart center. Inhale, reaching up once more. Exhale, fold all the way through, hinge at the hips. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, cobra or up dog, elbows stay hugged in. Exhale, meet back in downward facing dog. Again, give yourself a few rounds of breath here. Inhale, sweep your right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, foot back to the mat. Other side, inhale, sweep your leg towards the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, back leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, foot back to the mat. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana, tallest you've been today, really reaching. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Give yourself a full round of breath here. Deep inhale through the nose, completely filling the lungs. Exhale, release out the mouth. Keeping your hands at heart center. You can start to shift your weight towards your left foot. Right foot lifts off the mat, starting in a standing balancing pose. This is a beautiful pit stop. If uh, balance poses are a bit of a struggle, you can always practice with this shape. 90 degree bend in that knee, toes flexed. Then starting here, right arm reaches behind you, left arm reaches forward, bringing in a twist, shoulders opening up towards that bent knee. Inhale, draw yourself back to center. Exhale, plant that foot behind you. Sweep your arms to the sky for crescent. Exhale, open crescent. Left arm back, right arm forward. Finding twists in the opposite direction, you're welcome to stay here. Left hand to that back leg, right arm overhead. Here for just a moment. Right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Sweep your left arm forward for crescent. Hands to the mat, low lunge. Step forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana, reach to the sky. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Preparing for the other side here. Root through both feet equally, and then start to shift your weight towards your right foot. Left foot lifts off the mat, standing balance. Bend to that knee, flex your toes. Feeling your base here first. Then finding your twist, left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. Opening with your shoulders, that twist coming from our shoulder area, upper back, rather than low back. Draw yourself back to center. Pressing your left foot behind you, find crescent. Right arm sweeps back, left arm forward, revolved crescent. Welcome to stay right here or bring right arm to that back leg, left arm overhead, revolved warrior. 
Breathing here for a moment. Left arm reaches forward, right arm back. Right arm sweeps forward, finding crescent shape. Hands to the mat, low lunge. Step forward to Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank position. Inhale and plank. Exhale for Chaturanga or the mat. Inhale for up dog or cobra, pull your heart through. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg to sky. Exhale, step it to the outside of your right hand. Lizard pose. You are welcome to stay right here. You can always bring the blocks under your hands to give yourself a little more space. Or opening up to nectar of the moon. Left hand plants into the mat, rolling to the blade edge of both your feet. Right arm reaches back towards your feet or overhead. Again, whatever feels best in your shoulder. Here for just a moment. Right hand back to the mat, rolling to the base of your feet once more. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to sky. Exhale, step it to the outside of your left hand. Lizard pose, welcome to stay right here. Create more space for your hands by bringing those blocks under your hands. Or rolling to the blade edge of both your feet. Left arm reaches back, maybe overhead, nectar of the moon pose. Again, I like this space I get on my side body with this reach, but if it doesn't feel good in your shoulder, just keep that hand reaching back. Here for a moment, hand back to the mat, rolling back to the base of your feet. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Use your entire exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck your toes, forearms to the mat. Finding sphinx, unsupported sphinx, I should say here for just a moment. Gaze can drift between your hands, so not cranking our neck up towards the sky. Check in with your low body. Where can you soften? Next round of breath, lowering down, creating a little pillow with your hands here. Pause here for a moment, scanning your low back. So we start to transition into the yin portion of our class. Just checking in with your low back here. Does it feel good just to keep your forehead supported on your palms? Or I'll guide us through a round of supported sphinx. Taking time, making adjustments as you need to for these yin shapes. You can start here by pressing into your forearms once more. Then I prefer to take a bolster, um, kind of up against my rib cage. Now this can feel really good or it can feel a little claustrophobic. So check in with your body. You're welcome to use the bolster or release it. Now a few options. You can keep your forearms planted into the mat, finding sphinx this way, or for a little less intense back bend, you can rest your forehead at a block height that feels good for you. Taking your time, setting up your props and adjusting as you need to. And when you're ready, settling into stillness.
Noticing if your minds begin to wander. Gently nudging your attention back towards your breath. Encouraging yourself here to move nice and slow. You can start by releasing that bolster if you have it. Then lowering your hands, making a little pillow, forehead rest there. You can bend both knees, heels falling side to side, some windshield wipers. Extending your legs long once more. Then as you're ready, pressing up towards a tabletop shape for just a moment to help us get set up. We're gonna take a supported child's pose so you'll want your bolster or your pillow in front of you. I also bring my blanket with me because I prefer a little cushioning between my heels and my hips. So I roll it up into a little yogi burrito. Resting it there. Bolster nestles between your knees. Again, knees as wide or as narrow as feels good for you. We'll take a First half of our portion will be on one side and then I'll let you know when it's time to rotate. So walking your hands out in front of you. Right cheek can come to rest on the bolster. If you'd like a little more space, you can bring your hands under the bolster, lifting it just a bit, or you can use one of the blocks if you'd like even more space. So find what works for you. Again, make adjustments. Give yourself time here to find what works best for you and then allow yourself to settle in. Give yourself three more rounds of breath on this side. When that's complete for you, take your time, slowly turning other cheek to the bolster, resting left cheek, left ear on the bolster, making any little adjustments you may need to, and then settling in on this side.
once again starting to notice your breath. Taking your time here, slowly pressing into your hands, lifting your upper body out of that shape. You can remove your props here for a moment. Start to rock forward for a deer pose. So again, I set this one up from pretty much a tabletop. I like a block in front of me, and typically I have a bolster on top of it. And then finding a seated position can be helpful to start almost in a diamond shape, soles of your feet together, and then right shin parallel to the top of the mat, left shin parallel to the side, so shifting your weight that way. You can start to hinge forward, might be a little closer to the block and bolster. Forearm resting here, Again, for deer shape, allowing yourself to sink in, finding that 70% edge. You might wanna add another block under here, or if it feels too high, you can remove the bolster, maybe replace it with the blanket, just so you have a little softness there. Giving yourself a few moments to adjust as you need to taking care of yourself, making yourself comfortable. Perhaps if your ankle's resting on a hard floor, you can bring the block or rather the blanket under it and giving yourself some time to settle in. Eyes soft or closed, breath slow and smooth. Checking in once more with your breath. Give yourself three rounds of breath here. When you're ready, press into your props in front of you, lifting your chest out of that shape. Soles of the feet can come to the mat for a moment. Some gentle windshield wipers side to side, just allowing the knees to fall heavy. And then left shin parallel to the top of the mat, right shin parallel to the side. Allow yourself to hinge forward, deer pose on the other side. Again, reminding ourselves might be different side to side in our body. So make any adjustments that you need to with your props or your positioning and giving yourself time to settle into the shape.
checking in with your breath once more. Give yourself about three rounds of breath on this side. When that's complete for you, pressing into your props. It's again, soles the feet back to the mat, hands behind your hips, some little windshield wipers here. It's any movement that feels good. And then we'll make our way towards our back body, bringing maybe a few props with you. I like the blanket, just folded into a square beneath my head. And then either a block or a bolster. We're going to be taking a bridge pose. So if you typically use bridge pose with the block at its medium setting, I suggest going to its lowest setting for yin. If you typically use the block at its lowest setting, I suggest taking a bolster for yin. So playing with what feels best for you here. Lowering down, so just your head here supported by the blanket little extra cushion, soles the feet planted to the mat, lift your hips here just high enough, sliding either that block or bolster under your hips, I should say under your sacrum so it's supported, your body balancing there, not causing any zinging or pinching. Again, give yourself time here, make adjustments as you need to with your body, with the props, and then it may feel good to extend your legs long towards the bottom of the mat. It can feel really nice to open the front of your hips, but just like when we practice in vinyasa, if it causes any pinching in your low back, walk your heels back towards your body. Take time, adjust as you need to. Then eyes can soften or close settling in. Checking in with your body here. If this pose feels really supportive and good, you are welcome to stay here for our final shape. If you'd like to go to Shavasana for the final shape, you can gently press into your heels to lift your hips just high enough to remove your prop. Hips lower to the mat, then extend your legs long taking care of yourself as you need to. If it feels good in your low back to bring a bolster under your knees, doing so here. Arms hang heavy down by your hips. Little space between your upper arms and your side body. Taking up as much space as feels good. Allowing yourself to sink in. Noticing where your body is still trying to hold on. Just bringing a little softness to those areas. Reminding ourselves this pose is just as important as any other shape we took today. And I'll let you know when it's time to come out.
body can remain still. If it feels good and is available to you today, you're more than welcome to stay in this place of rest. If it's time to close out your practice, you can start with gentle movement, like wiggling your fingers and toes, rolling out any of your joints, maybe a nice good morning stretch, fingertips overhead, toes opposite direction. And when you're ready, slowly guide yourself to a fetal position on either side, giving yourself a moment before you gently press up to a comfortable, easy seat. Eyes can stay softer closed, giving yourself permission here in these last few moments to feel into some gratitude. You showed up today, honored your body with movement and with rest, just allowing that feeling to sink in. We'll close with a collective breath, can exhale to prepare. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, draw your hands back to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this rad community. And I hope you have a wonderful day.